Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I have my art journal again and uh, I'm going to go for a, a method that I love a lot and haven't done for a while. I have these Tim Holtz background stamps and I'm going to emboss my page first. So I'm using my Versamark stamp uh, and covering all my uh, stamp and uh, I'm just uh, making impressions here and there not perfect because just this is just going to be my background and afterwards i'm using my gold uh, embossing powder princess gold from ranger uh, i love this gold it's not glittery it's a bit matte uh, but it's very nice i'll just sprinkle it uh, in the places that i've uh, stamped and uh, it will adhere there by the way, in this video, unfortunately, I don't know how it happened, but I lost some footage and I realized uh, afterwards. So <laughs> in, in some part of it, I will have to describe you what happened uh, and what I did. Uh, but yeah, sometimes technology fails us uh, in the moments that we don't even realize. I just didn't want to throw the video just because of that. Uh, I'm sure I can explain you what I did uh, quite easily. Anyway, uh, I covered my pages, so I'm now using my uh, embossing uh, heat tool. This is from Wall, and I really like it. Uh, and now so there is some gold details on my page. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks. And you will find the uh, colors I'm using at the description box down below. Uh, I will just uh, go from color to color and uh, continue creating my background. Um, this is a typical technique we use uh, to create backgrounds. Uh, I sometimes really miss it uh, because uh, inks blend with each other really well and it's uh, much easier to use and oxides uh, create nice effects when uh, you spray water on them. Uh, and uh, the colors are a little bit autumnal uh, and that's what I loved about creating this page. I always start with uh, lighter colors and go darker uh, step by step because it's uh, difficult to come from dark to light color but you can always go uh, more darker if you want so if you want a darker look uh, and uh, I'm using black from time to time as well to darken it up after you go through this uh, process if you go over the page with uh, a dry paper towel you will clear the ink uh, on top of your embossed areas and your embossed image will come through even more now it looks like it's covered but it's not when i use my dry paper towel uh, it's going to come through and make a really nice shine with all the gold i used as you see i'm just uh, layering over and over uh, until i am happy with uh, the final look I hope you're having a nice autumn uh, if uh, that's the season you're experiencing. Uh, it's always nice to have these colors and the leaves changing. And here comes my towel, dry towel, that I cleaned all my embossed areas. And I'm splashing a little bit water uh, because we used oxides, it will look nice. And I took my fossilized amber uh, oxide um, spray. And I'm going to splash a little bit to bring a little bit pop of color that goes with the background that I created. And then uh, I'm going to use a little bit uh, more water to activate this uh, spray too. And uh, I'll just move my uh, notebook around uh, to have some random uh, impressions and uh, shapes. Uh, and I think I did it a little bit too much because I didn't love these, uh, you know, pathways uh, that are created on my, uh, like these uh, traces that are created on the background. So there's always a way back. Uh, I'm using my inks again to cover these uh, to make the, them less visible and it's totally fine. Now I have a nice uh, background. I'm going to repeat the fossilized ember again. So this is the part where my footage disappeared. I used this beautiful scrapbooking paper from Prima. It's a 12 by 12 inches paper that has doors on it. And I cut these doors uh, and I also made uh, 
gaps in the in between and I uh, glued them on my page as if the doors are opening it's quite an easy process um, I just cut them in the middle with my craft knife and I glued them in two places I'm not opening uh, to one of them I uh, glued a butterfly uh, on the door and uh, others uh, around as you see and uh, one of them I left the gap and uh, uh, glued another uh, butterfly uh, inside the door so it will be a nice surprise when someone opens the door I like interactive pages like this and if you ask where I got the butterflies they were scraps that I used from my stash uh, probably I cut another um, scrapbook paper before uh, and I didn't use these butterflies so I found them in my stash matching the colors perfectly you can always use uh, butterfly stamps and color them yourself if uh, you want to match the colors uh, and I use these uh, sentiment uh, stickers from Tim Holtz uh, sticker set and I colored them with uh, just a, a marker uh, to this yellow color uh, that mustard color uh, to match my scenery uh, it's always nice to have white things so that you can color them and match uh, your pages and I splashed again with this fossilized amber to uh, renew the uh, mustard look and I'm splashing with peacock feathers as well because a couple of butterflies have this turquoise uh, blue uh, and I wanted to have this unity of that uh, of those colors as well and it gave a really nice uh, pop of color and here is my door opening uh, to give some interaction uh, and I love the gold embossing that was more clear when I show you like this I hope you enjoyed this video sorry for the footage again but sometimes it happens uh, so if you like it don't forget to uh, click like or subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time